Welcome to Stroudsburg High School tonight. We have a Mountain Valley Conference Boys Basketball Showdown. Pocono Mountain West Panthers versus the Stroudsburg Mounties. Hi, everyone. I'm Mark McKean along with Bob Milfi. Pocono Mountain West undefeated. Stroudsburg won loss in the NBC. Sole possession on the line for West for Stroudsburg. A tie up tonight with a win. Great game tonight, Mark. I anticipated one. And you know, uh, this West ball club has beaten the Mounties before this by 15. No way this time. I'm sure of that. We saw Stroudsburg on Tuesday. This is a much improved Stroudsburg ball club. Similar type playing ability and talent as the West Panthers had. And boy, do we have to speak up. We got a little pep pat fighting us there. But it's great to have the enthusiasm. Open about the West led by Eric Vick. He gave up huge last year in the district championship game. He's carried that over into this season. And great shooter that he is. Talk to Coach Brad Pencil before the game. Ask him how good a shooter he is. Because he leads his team in three. He said he can really light it up from beyond the arc. Joe Wiggins, I tell you what, he can shoot as well. He also could go inside and get some rebounds for a guard. Yeah, how about that for his size? I don't know. I think he's listed, what, 5'8", Mark? And he's got, he's got one of the leading rebounders on his team. Shows what kind of team the West Panthers are. Always have been. Very aggressive on both ends of the court. You see there at guards, number three, Eric Vick, number 30, Joe Wiggins. The forwards, number one, Darren Dixon. Number 40, Jordan Hardy in the center. Number 32, Leon Batiste. West, 11 years, and in those 11 years of West, 212 wins against just 62 losses. Yeah, both great coaches have been very successful in their careers uh, at varsity level in the competition. And I'll tell you what, what a great matchup team-wise, what a great matchup coach-wise. Stroudsburg, it'll be Skyler Brandt. Batiste wins the tip, and it's Vic getting it off. This is Hardy for three, and he's got it to open this game up. That's one thing you're going to find out about this Panther ball club. They have an opening no matter who it is. They're going to unload it no matter where they are. Pushing it the other way was battle. Here come the Panthers. Vic around the back. Vic pull up three. Got it, and he was fouled. As we just mentioned, Mark, Vic unloads from beyond three. These kids like to go to the rim right away, and he gets fouled on that one, too. Puts him on the line. Boy, explosive as they are. Going to be the foul is going to be on Clowney. Vic has 32 three-pointers now in the season. Make it a four-point play for Eric Vic. And here comes West with that patented pressure defense. Bragg with the ball. Bragg gets it to Brant. Over to KO. KO drive. Baseline. Runs out of room. Looks for some help. And it's going to be stolen. It's Hardy all by himself. Lays it in. And the Panthers are off and running. And Sean Thornton is going to take a timeout. Absolutely. Must. Good timeout by Coach Thornton. Why? Disorganized as far as offense is concerned. I'll tell you what. Aggressive defense, as you noted, Mark. Panthers are noted for that. Boy, they overplay it. Very aggressive in that man-to-man, -man, and they create a lot of turnovers. Coach uh, Sean Thornton doesn't want the game to get out of hand here early. Calls a quick timeout. Good call. Talk about a fast start. We're 45 seconds into this game. It's already Panthers way here early. Surprised an aggressive type play, Mark, that they play, and a sort of push-up tempo game that the Panthers play. There's a nice shot and a penetration there. Joe so Wiggins on the drive yeah, there. Yeah, Wiggins there, but uh, my comment there is good. So battle hits both. West ball on the wow. Panthers waste no time going down the court. Vic to Wiggins for a quick two. Well, oh, Coach Sean are not happy with that. That's just fundamentally nuts. That's going to be on Brant. That's his first. I'll tell you what, it was hard to see what was going to happen there, who was going to get the foul with bodies flying all around. The slip pass inside Vic to no, Dixon. That's too easy. That's too easy. Lack of cue. to Howard. Back up top now as the Panthers work it around. Howard looking inside. Ball was tipped away by Clowney. Then picked up and scored. Stroudsburg in days and one point lead. After one point. <laughs> Who would have thunk it, Mark, the way this game started out for that opening that the Panthers had to point. Now he's right in it. Thought it wasn't even contest. Proved to be so in the first. On the Palmer and Rock Store scoreboard. Stroudsburg has three turnovers in the first quarter, but yet it's the Mounties with a one-point lead. 
Hardy over to Vic for West. Vic pull up three from downtown. Misses, rebound underneath, up and back. Darren Dixon picks up Vic. Defense just switched momentum entirely. I think credit change of defense is here going into the zone. Batiste kicks it out to Wiggins for three. For West along with Sean Cooper. And Strasburg trying to inbound, uh, throws the ball up in the air, tipped around, taken by Dixon for West, gives it back to Vic. Here comes Wiggins, pull up jumper, good. And that's what will change. Injury. Yeah, and you like the clowny in there. I'll tell you what, not only for his ability talent-wise, but for his senior leadership in a big game like this. What a steal. Wiggins with the steal, takes it in, and all of a sudden, it's a four-point game. Not feel the swing again, momentum, good time out there. Well, that was Grand Larson. That's too close. Vic to inbound. Gets it to Wiggins. There's a mounting on the floor. It's Lopez. And here's some pressure defense. Vic in the corner for three. Wow. Lucky to get it away. Triple teamed out front. But got Strasburg. Vic to Wiggins. Batiste, baseline, up strong, gets it to go. Never should happen. Block baseline, put a foot right on that line, force him in that baseline, three men back. He does make the penetration, gets the, away from the front line, but the help defense is there to stop the criminal penetration. What a difference. I think the zone defense has made against this uh, aggressive offense by the Panthers in the second quarter. Well, a whirlwind of the first half. Runs one. All about battle having a great offensive night in that first half. Aggressive play there. How about Wiggins? Wiggins, a tough player inside. Baptiste kicks it out. Bango, downtown. Wiggins, I'll tell you what, don't give that kid any room, but gets confidence out there. He'll hurt you. Then we go to the other guy out there. I mean, these kids aren't tall by any means, but boy, aggressive play. When they get their hands on the ball, give them an open look. That was Vic that time. He leads his team in scoring. Watch this. Wise play there. Can't make the penetration. Knows where the line is. Yeah, it's been a, a wild game so far. A lot of athletic plays on both sides for both Strasburg and Pocono Mountain West. You see Wiggins leading everyone with 13 points. Uh, Vic at 7 points. Batiste, 6 points tonight for Poking him out to West and for Strauss. Ball tipped around, taken by West. Dixon in there to start the third with three fouls. Drives in, and it counts. It goes to the basket uh, with conviction. Bird. Clowney with seven rebounds as well. Averaging four and a half a game. He's ahead of that. And here's a three by George. Wiggins is going to take that three-pointer. Wow. He's going to nail it. Come on, no hand in face. Wiggins says, hey, good move by the kid. I mean, he got the open look. I mean, wanders out to three land, and I'll tell you what, a great percentage from out there. Some critical goals he's had. Nice cut inside. Boy. Dixon. Lack of communication. Must communicate. Be aware. I mean, setting time, and uh, that may hurt the Mounties. Clay checks in for Brandt. Here's a three by Jordan Hardy. Hardy, three three-pointers, 11 points for him tonight. It's a four-point game, and now a steal by Vic. Inside, Wiggins, shot, good! You feel the change again, don't you? Aggressive play, boy, turnover. Won his first district championship last season, beating Parkland in the final. As the inbound to Batiste, Batiste makes it and go. And we head to the fourth quarter on the Palmerton Garage Door scoreboard. We've got a ball game. Well, it Strasburg. wasn't tips. It took the last one. They had the good luck, but didn't go. What a fourth it's going to be. Two-point game going to the fourth. Fast. Hardy pushing. Gets it to Wiggins. Shot up. Misses. Dixon. Put back. No good. Tipped around. Back. Dixon. Bucket and the foul. Well, determination, effort, you love. You got to love it by the Panthers. Up and down. There's now Vic with the ball. Vic stopped, blocked by Battle. Tipped wow. around and tipped nice in by control. Big Leon Batiste. Boy, you love to see that. The big guy. Away by Vic, but got it off. And here's Batiste with the rebound off the miss by Battle. 
And now the six minute mark, West looking for the lead again. Vic, finger roll, good. Boy, Cardinals sin in basketball. First three by battle, misses. Going up high to get it is Dixon. Dixon pushing the other way. Shot is good. Darren Dixon now with 12. Someone must stop ball. Much, oh, much too easy on that one. Almost a turnover there again. Wiggins, 15-foot jumper, good. How about that? Such a smooth-looking shot for Joe Wiggins. And it's now a junior. Here's a long three by Clowney. That miss is pulled out by Hardy. And West can just run it out unless Hardy is fouled here. And that's going to be it. Hardy is going to dribble it out and poke it out to West. I'll tell you what, Bob. I, I, I want to say they escape, but this is a good Stroudsburg team. And the Mounties gave them everything they can handle tonight, but at the end, it's West pulling out the win. I, I think no question about it. I think we enjoyed doing this game, and the fans should, or were entertained to a great high school basketball game. Great effort on both teams' part. Both aggressive, wanted to win badly. Determination was there on both teams' part. Could have gone either way, to tell you the truth, as far as the, the, the point situation is concerned. But... Boy, ebbs and flows, momentum swings, etc. I don't know how much more you could ask for in a basketball game. Mark, you saw the threes, you saw the dribble penetration. Two great coaches, great moves on their part. And uh, uh, they're going to meet again down the line as far as conference play is concerned. And who knows the outcome of that one. These are two evenly matched ball clubs. West now in the driver's seat for the number one seed in the MVC boys tournament. The Panthers now 7-0. Stroudsburg at 5-2. Of course, West with two wins over Stroudsburg, so that might as well be a three-game lead for the Panthers uh, looking to uh, wrap up that number one seed for the boys' tournament. Stroudsburg, they're very much in it. As you said, we could very well see these two teams meet again, perhaps for the MVC championship. I'd like to thank Matt Catrillo and Dan Snyder on the stats, and, and uh, I'd like to thank director Zach Booth in the truck. For Bob Milkvey, I'm Mark McKeon. That's it from Stroudsburg High School. Pocono Mountain West beats Stroudsburg 73-65.